to be or not to be on this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. To be or not to be is the topic we're going to talk about on this episode of Title Tuesdays. But don't forget to subscribe below. You need to click that red subscribe button, maybe share this video on social media, and don't forget to text in. We have our text in option. You can text the word Title to 31996 and get all of our amazing Title Tuesday videos one day early. People have loved getting these videos. So to be or not to be in a homeowners association, to be or not to be in a condominium association, that's what we're going to talk about. A lot of clients ask, especially years ago when I was a real estate agent, what are the benefits of living in a homeowners association or a condo association versus not living in one? And this is personal preference for clients. Clients sometimes choose to be in there and sometimes they don't. So let's talk about not being in an association. What are the benefits? Low fees. A lot of times there are no property owners association fees, which means your property is yours. And as long as you follow the city code, there is no one to bust your chops about what color you painted your house, how high your grass may be cut if it's, if it's two inches, three inches, there is nobody to tell you if you need to pressure wash your house or your driveway. That's one of the big benefits of living in a property that is not inside a homeowner's association. There's low fees and there is nobody to mess with you. There's nobody to drive around and tell you what you should be doing to your property. That's about the only benefits I can think of for not being in one. There are many more benefits to be in one, which we're going to talk about now. Living in Florida, we are in the state of homeowners associations, especially being here in South Florida. These property owners, homeowners, or condo associations are very important. They govern the property. There's a board of directors and a management company that manages the property. It could be a condo building, it could be a single family home, it could be a townhouse or a villa. They manage the property. They make sure the grass is cut. They make sure the house is painted the same color so everything looks uniform. They make sure that green pool will not be green any longer. They have the option to fine people and give you violation letters to make sure you're staying in compliance with the rules and regulations that the board of directors sets. I think it's fantastic to, be, uh, to live in a homeowners association because it gives you some structure. It gives you a way to where the neighbors can't leave their garbage can out for 24 to 48 hours past garbage pickup. They need to make sure that this development, when people are driving through, is appealing. It's appealing to new families coming in and wanting to buy. Imagine you just see overgrown grass and houses that need to be painted and then buyers want to come in and like, I'm not going to live in this development. So it keeps up the value. I think homes within a homeowners association comparable to homes not in a homeowners association could potentially see a higher value. Now we talk about the fees. Condo associations and homeowners associations generally have a much higher fee. They have a monthly, a quarterly, or an annual association fee. They have special assessments. This is the fee paid to manage the property. But what is it also paid for? It is also to make sure that your property is upkeep. It's to make sure that the maintenance is, is taken care of, that the lawn is cut. So it's very important to make sure when you're living in a homeowner's association that you check what's included in your association dues. Sometimes it could be cable. Sometimes for the higher priced one, you may look at a condominium or a townhouse unit and one may have a very high association fee and one may have a lower association fee. So you say, I'm going to go buy the one with the lower association fee. But what you didn't realize is homeowner's insurance was covered with the higher association fee because it's deeded as a condominium, even though it looks like a townhouse. Where the other one is what's called a fee simple townhouse, which basically means you're responsible to maintain your own homeowner's coverage. So you have to really look to compare apples to apples 
what's included. This is not apples to oranges. We need to see what is included in the association dues, what are you going to get coverage for, and what is the added value. Remember, the Homeowners Association is governed by the Board of Directors. These are the people that live in your community. These are the people that want to see your community thrive. Those are the people that are on the board. They do not get paid. They usually meet monthly, and there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. So don't mess with your board of directors. Thank them for their free service. Thank them for keeping the property up to par so new families and new buyers will be coming into your neighborhood to increase the values. So I hope you learned something new today talking about to be or not to be living in a homeowners association or condominium association. It was all about education today. Don't forget to subscribe below, like our video, share it on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn. We look forward to getting this video out to as many people as possible to teach them about being or not being in an association when they're choosing to buy Florida real estate. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.